also with a duo and a trio. In addition to being a musician, Tom founded and hosted the Thomas Loop Radio Show. It was on WJJL and on all Western New York radio. His show was broadcast from the Niagara Arts and Cultural Center on the radio and online, and it won the WBNY Western New York Music Award for Breast Broadcast Podcast in 2012, 13, and 14. This is the first ever online show to ever receive that award. It was up against all kinds of radio stations. I think it was 20, over 20 of them. His show featured interviews with a variety of local musicians to include tracks of their music as well as on-air musical performances. Tom also has a website, a YouTube channel with over 500 videos, and he has written for various media sources all promoting local musicians, local venues, local festivals, local promoters, and sharing the diverse musical history of this city. Tom has been the host and MC for numerous events such as the Niagara Falls Music and Arts Festival, Boots, Brews, and Bacon, the 10,000 Battle of the Bands that was held at the Seneca Niagara Casino, and many more music and sporting charity events. Several times, Tom has been awarded for his community service and now it is with great pleasure that we honor Thomas F. Proctor IV with the Dr. Samuel Moriel Music Award. First and foremost, I'd like to thank the committee that put this entire thing together just a few years ago. Niagara Falls Music Hall of Fame. Put your hands together for them, please. Thanks again. So many talented musicians have come here, played here, toured all over the country, all over the world, and it's quite strange that I'm standing here where my cousin, John Morasco, has uh, once played. He's played here, he's played in Greece. He's also an inductee into the Niagara Falls Music Hall of Fame. I'd like to thank my uh, family, my parents, brother and sister for making it out. I'd like to thank my relatives, aunts and uncles, cousin over there. And I'd like to get into um, the Thomas Loop Radio Show. Uh, the, the idea is basically to raise awareness for local musicians especially in the Niagara Falls area, and an understanding the difficulty it is to get even a simple gig. And I think it's critical that we all stick together as musicians, as friends, to keep this ball rolling. I've also I had the pleasure of interviewing Olympians, people from ESPN, covering the Buffalo Bills and Buffalo Sabres, and it was quite an honor. I'd also like to thank WEBR, which was WJGL, for the opportunity for being here. I'd like to thank the late Vince Zanello, who helped me basically get a job on the air. I'd like to thank you all for being here, and enjoy the rest of the award ceremonies. Congratulations to the class of 2020 Hall of Fame inductees.